I have only been driving for a year. I've never had to replace a broken part on my car. I've never even had my car break down. I've only ever changed my wiper fluid and filled my car up with gas. I mean, tonight was like any other night. I was doing my regular routine of going to the gym, stopping at a gas station to grab a protein shake, and heading home to play video games. I take this dark, rural road to get home from the gym. Aside from one intersection, with a flashing red light and the odd house, the road is bleak and empty. I was on my way home listening to music when my car died. It was instant. Everything went dark. I was confused. I thought that my engine would at least start to sputter before my car died. I ended up calling my brother to let him know that I needed a jump, and he said that he'd be here in ten minutes. I decided, out of fear of animals, that I would lock myself in my car and distract myself on my phone until my brother arrived. I looked around at the darkness surrounding me. It was creepy. It was like I was in a tub of black paint. Not a speck of light in sight. Not long after starting to watch a video on my phone, I heard a light tapping sound coming from my roof. Now, I thought it might be some sort of tree branch tapping on my car as I was right beside the entrance to a forest with overhanging trees. But that is when I realized the tapping was more methodical. I wondered if maybe an animal had gotten onto my roof and decided to turn on my phone's flashlight and open my door to check my roof. And sure enough, it was empty. What made me feel uneasy, though, was that none of the trees near my car could reach the roof of it. I sat back into my car when I decided to call my brother to see where he was. I'm five minutes away, man. Stop calling me. I hung up and opened Instagram and started scrolling. As time went on, I realized it had been 30 minutes since I had called him. I decided to call him again, and I got the same answer. I'm five minutes away, man. Stop calling me. Before I could even ask anything else, he had hung up. This couldn't be possible. It was 10 minutes from my house to this location, and he'd been driving for nearly 45 minutes. My brother is normally lazy, but he wouldn't lie about having left the house when I'm in a situation like this. That's when I heard it again. This time, it sounded like it was on the window and so I scanned the windows and saw nothing. That was, until I checked the rearview mirror. A dark figure filled the glass, and shining my phone's flashlight on it revealed its horrible features. Pale skin, Milky white eyes, devoid of any color, boasting an ear-to-ear -ear smile. I let out a scream, and that's when it disappeared from my back windshield. I called my brother a third time and yelled, Where the hell are you? I'm five minutes away, man. Stop calling me. And the phone hung up.
I realized that the expression was the same each time. I decided to call back again, but this time took a look at my phone. And to my surprise, when I clicked call under my brother's name, and that's when I realized what my phone said. Call failed. And I heard it. I'm five minutes away, man. Stop calling me. I realized, though, it wasn't coming from my phone, but I was actually hearing it in my ear. I slowly turned around, and that's when I saw it. This... this thing behind me, staring me in the eyes with a blood-curdling smile. He then repeated in my brother's voice, here. I gripped the door handle and shoved it open, falling into the road. It was just then when the darkness disappeared and was taken over by a light. I looked towards the light source and saw my brother's car pulling up behind mine. I could hear my heartbeat thumping in my ears as my vision came in and out, a vignette surrounding what I could see. What the hell are you doing? He said, getting out of his car laughing. What? I screamed, looking into my back seat. It was empty. What's wrong? My brother asked, more serious now. There was someone in my back seat. I said, panicking. My brother retreated to his car and grabbed his gun from his glove box. I checked my phone, and to my dismay, it was only ten minutes after I called him, and there was only one call in my call history. Just at that time, my brother's car turned off, the darkness coming back. What the hell? I heard him say. He flashed his phone flashlight on my back windshield. A smiling face, drawn crudely in a thick red substance. I could assume was blood and small writing underneath, reading...